it starts from when boys see girls. Because if you notice these days, there are some things that our parents never used to do, and they do now. Marriage is very funny. In those days, when my father buys a gift for my mother, she doesn't ask questions. My father will come say, I bought this for you. She will come and say, thank you. And she'll start praising him. Oh, call me. Oh, no worry me. My husband, the pay, the pay of my dowry. No question. Do you know that this guys, you can buy gifts and enter trouble. <laughs> you are rewarded evil for your good deeds. It is in marriage that I know that you buy gifts. Oh, it's so beautiful. Why did you buy it? <laughs> My brother, before you answer, think twice. Or you will wash plates. I made a mistake. I bought a gift. I was with my friends. We went to do a show. I saw them. Where are you guys going? They said, they want to buy gifts. I said, let me follow them. They were buying dresses for their wife. I said, okay, let me to buy. And I got to. I said, oh, she's a beautiful dress. Why did you buy it? I said, my friends, we're buying. And I decided to buy. Next thing. Oh, really? So if your friends were not buying, you're not going to buy for me? So you were not thinking about me, too. I had to beg on the gift I bought. I'm like, what is going on here? And if you notice, marriage is these days. The way it's not lasting is because of questions, unsolicited questions. People will just be peaceful. You just ask, honey, can I ask you a question? If I go out today and I don't come back until five years, Will you remarry? Think twice before you answer that question. Will you remarry? You see what I think? Uh, five years. One, two, three. I will have thought you are dead. Don't be, don't be practical in marriage. Lie. Uh, five years. Honey, I'll be so heartbroken. I'm not going to marry. So, oh, thank you, baby. That's the answer. If you are practical, like five years is too long, I will need help. And I will have to remarry. Mm -hmm. So you'll be thinking of killing me, huh? <laughs> and you know the funny thing is, fight will start over hypothetical question. It's not a real event. But they will just turn it into something real. So I've decided that I just go the religious route. Once they say, honey, mm -hmm. If I go out now and come, don't come back. You will, you will not go, go not come back in Jesus' name. You will go and come. God say it or not. The book of the Bible, she's real. And say, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Use religious raps to save yourself from those kind of questions. Because you see, everything is in levels. Because you see, when you're married and you don't know your husband or your partner's reaction when you call them. If you want to know how you are as a person, because people will say, oh, I'm a nice person. I'm like, no. Start with your spouses. If you want to know how nice you are as a person, call your spouse without you being there. You know, there are two types. <laughs> oh, my heart. Excuse me, let me go answer my heart. Hey, baby. Number one. The other one. Hey, my heart. <laughs> Are you the type that when you call your husband, say, Eli, Eli, Lama, Sabata. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> if you are not laughing, you are guilty. <laughs> Change your ways. You have to be that wife or that husband. You know, there are some husbands, once your husband calls like this, you see his number say, <laughs> You start speaking in tongues all that story. Like that. I want Jesus. <laughs> It's in stages. There are levels to these things. For some people here, if you're married, for some of you, it's love at first sight. Showing, phew, you know that's the one. And some of, for some of you, are still thinking, how did this guy marry me? <laughs> you know, there are some people when you see that, you're like, oh, this gotta be love at first sight. But you see some people, you look at it and say, man. <laughs> they have said it. Love is blind. <laughs> Your eyes were not open when you were looking at it. You know, because you know there are two types of people you see. You see something, you just know that, oh my God, you guys look so good together. You're going to make Denzel. <laughs> or Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> or Shea Brown. <laughs> but when you look at 
at some couple, you look at the wife, you look at the husband, you look at the wife. You like it's when you want to give that name, name like Wamilele. <laughs> Lentini. You understand? You just look at their face like, how did this happen? You know, you know when yeah, there's a there's a way you introduce your spouse. There's a way you introduce yourself when people say, oh my, oh my God, you guys have to marry you. You know, you have to marry you because you guys have to make you know, with children. And you know, there's a way you introduce your spouse. People just say, ah, this is the best we can do. They will not start warning you. This guy wants to break your heart. Everything depends. And you know there are some people when you know that is another culture, American culture that we imbibe. This surprise. People just believe that everybody surprise is not for everybody. 